the goddess Venus in art history. Venus, or Aphrodite, the goddess of love, beauty, desire, and sex, has been depicted in many different medias like tempera paint and oil paint. Throughout every art era, different styles and techniques and paintings have evolved. Venus is the symbol of beauty, and beauty itself evolves. And as we see in these paintings, though the art style is very different, she is timeless. We will be discussing the different art styles that she has gone through throughout the years. Starting with the birth of Venus, there isn't much we know about the painting itself. At this time, in the 15th century, there was little nudity in art, however, it was more common in depictions of the Bible, like the book of Genesis with Adam and Eve. It's different from what the artists at this time in the 15th century were used to. This is a woman and she is the goddess of love and she has nothing to do with religion. The painting embraces her beauty and her nudity, but she still covers up her intimate areas modestly. This art style that Botticelli has looks pretty flat and it's very two-dimensional. Although Botticelli has a good understanding of the human anatomy, the stance of the nymphs and Venus herself seem very unnatural. It was almost like they were floating because they were not correctly distributing their weight on their feet like you normally would. The little detail in the background and landscaping also adds to the fact that there's a two-dimensional feel to the painting itself. Botticelli never focused on painting with realism, especially in landscapes. And moving along to the Triumph of Venus by Francois Boucher, this art style is from the Rococo era. The same idea from the birth of Venus, we see Venus, the goddess of love, being born from the sea, coming up in a seashell surrounded by the sea nymphs and the naiads. The painting has a cool color palette associated with the era of Rococo. The specific painting was commissioned by Carl Gustav Tessin in the year 1740, and the artist modeled Venus after his wife. Nudity, especially in the paintings revolving around mythology, was widely more accepted in the 18th century. Comparing the two paintings, The Triumph of Venus has more depth and the atmospheric perspective was beautifully done. There is also more commotion and interaction between the people in the painting. The waves and the clouds give a sense of motion while they're being pushed to the right by the wind. This is very much a Rococo painting because of the soft pastel textures. The rosiness on their faces and Venus herself being the most fair-skinned out of everyone else, so your eyes are drawn towards her. One painting is not necessarily better than the other. However, you can see the art style has evolved into something more advanced. You can appreciate Botticelli's Birth of Venus while also acknowledging the more intricate art style with Boucher's Triumph of Venus. Now, in the Rococo painting, it's more lively and energetic and lustful. You can feel it coming up to the picture. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder and the art style is subjective. So however these artists decided to depict and paint Venus, she is eternally beautiful and she symbolizes exactly that, love, beauty, and desire.